Hey everyone, it's your girl Diana and I'm back with another fall makeup tutorial. This one's featuring Tartlets in Bloom 2 Tarte Palette. So if you want to see how I got this soft glam look, stay tuned. Okay, so starting off fresh out of the shower, I start with Clinique Clarifying Lotion. I use it as a toner on my skin. It really helps to control oil production because I have oily skin. And then I go in with the Clinique Moisturizer. I like this because it's really lightweight and it absorbs quickly into my skin. Then I top it off with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. This really helps to keep my face matte throughout the day. Next I go in with my favorite orange corrector from Makeup Forever. I put a dot under my chin and under my eyes just to blur out those dark areas so that my foundation goes on better. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because they take me forever but now I'm going in with the NYX eyeshadow base and just a random angle brush that I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. I use this base so that my eyeshadow lasts throughout the day. Now on to one of my favorite parts. I use the NARS Illuminous All Day Foundation in Macau. I am in love with this foundation. Oh my goodness. It blends so nicely, lasts all day, and has such a natural look. So I'm using a damp beauty blender and just gently patting that into my skin. I did not use concealer because I find that this foundation is a really good full coverage foundation and it's buildable. So I'm just going in with a few more drops where I feel like I need it and blending it up. Next, sticking with NARS, I'm using their concealer in Ginger as a highlight on my face, my eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. And then using the flat side of my beauty blender to blend it all out. It's contour time! I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in Medium and just a shader dome brush from Jessup and dipping it into the chocolate contour shade of the palette to carve my face. Then I'm going in with this small eyeshadow brush to carve a contour for my nose. Using this brush is a little bit more precise than the dome brush from Jessup. Now once I'm done, I'm going to use my Dampen Beauty Blender to start blending out those lines. Now going with my Sephora Dome 56 brush, I continue blending along those lines on my cheeks and then go in with my Beauty Blender for my nose contour. To set my foundation, I use the Ruby Kisses Setting Powder in Banana. Dip another beauty blender in there, this one is dry, and go over my contour. If powder gets on my eyebrow, I just go back in with my dip brow and clean it up. Now for my eyeshadow, going into the Tartlet palette, with a flat brush I take up the Smarty Pants shade and use it as my transition color all over my lid. Then using a Domer shader brush I go in with Activist and deposit that on the outer corner of my eye and then blend that out with a matte blending brush. With the same shader brush I go into Flower Child, pick up some color and place that on the inner corner of my eyelid and using a pencil brush I go back into the same palette and pick up Charmer and deposit that under my eyebrow. Next I go with my Maybelline Line Stiletto for my eyeliner. Next I go in with my L'Oreal Superstar Mascara using the Step 1 Primer to coat my eyelashes and then the Step 2 side for the actual mascara. Now 
Now that my setting powder has baked, I'm going to go in with my Just Up shader brush using my Sephora Mahogany palette and sweep that away. I like using this color because it will reduce flashback when I take pictures. Next I'm going to blush with Max Amberin using their blush brush and then using the Just Up flat brush to blend that all out. Okay, glow kit time. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit and their A23 brush, I'm gonna pick up some Summer and Moonstone and deposit that on my cheeks, my nose, and my Cupid's bow. Next, onto the lips, I'm using Max Chestnut Pencil to line my lips. Then I'm going to fill it in with my favorite lip paint from Tarte and that's in Choker. To finish the look, I'm going to set my face with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. So I did my hair off camera, straightened it and all that great stuff. Then for a final touch, I'm going to go back in with my flat brush from Jessup just to make sure everything's all flat. And here's the finished look. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you really liked it. I really love this Tartlet in Bloom palette. The colors are very, very pigmented and show up really well on deeper skin tones. This is a really great palette if you want to do some neutral eye looks for women of color. So there you have it guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care for now. Bye bye.